Trot in Arizona uses a meander in equine assisted therapy for physically disabled people. Marla gains a sense of empowerment by using her arm and body language to control and turn wizard in the round pin. Horses are empathetic animals and communicate well with people. Marla is thanking Wizard for working with her. He will soon carry her around the meander on his back. For now, he acknowledges her paralyzed legs with a nuzzle. Riders thank yous are always followed by a huge smile. Riders have a helper on each side in case they lose balance, a therapist instructor, and a wrangler to be at the horse's head. Macy grew up unable to stand or keep her balance and was very fearful of trying to stand. Through riding, she strengthened her muscles and gained confidence in movement. Macy is now able to walk with a helping hand. The helpers walk beside Monty so that they can intervene in case of a mishap. They are at the ready to keep Macy securely in the saddle. Centaur Leadership Services at Prescott College in Arizona trains counselors in equine-assisted therapy. We will see volunteers work with equines in a classic labyrinth with a 40-foot round pen at the center. The volunteers are taught how to do a body scan and ask, Who am I? Going in, where have you been? Coming out, where are you going? These paths are four feet wide, leaving space for horses and riders to pass in adjacent paths. Peg and Indigo walk beside each other without a halter. Elizabeth and Mary Beth are still learning to cooperate with each other. In response to sharing asking what everyone's experiences have been, Elizabeth shares that she had realized a dream by being in a labyrinth. She compares getting Mary Beth around the labyrinth's corners to life's problems, which can be overcome. At the end of the day, everyone walks with a confident step after learning life lessons from their equine partners.